What's going on everybody? This is Rai. So today we are doing a new version of Agro Solar Flare. I got this idea at the end of one of the live streams from James McClone. So this is what we're going to be calling Agro Mid. And the main difference between this deck uh, that I have over here and the one that you can see below, which is the more traditional version of Agro Solar Flare, maybe on turn four running Wingnut instead of Bloomerang. And the Bloomerang is probably overall the better card. Uh, so we are going to be running an aggro start with finishers, but also have sort of a way of surviving uh, if your opponent is running a control deck and is able to remove your powerful aggro cards like your Haunted Pumpkin, your Blooming Heart on one. If they have like a bunch of bungee plumbers, they can basically deal with whatever you do on turns one and two. Uh, we're also running, again, fewer three drops, just two Poison Ivies, and we're really focusing more on Gloom Shroom as a finisher and Cob Cannon. These are cards that can really swing a board. Cob Cannon will, is an aggro card because the six damage also clears an entire lane, potentially even three or four lanes. Uh, so that is going to allow your other cards to keep going face. Uh, we are running Strike Through, so instead of, again, Astrakata, we're just running Elderberry in terms of a Strike Through finisher, and you're going to be able to use your Gloom Shroom. Um, it's not exactly Strike Through, but again, it's able to clear out lanes, and having uh, lanes cleared in an aggro deck is all important because that makes you do more damage to your opponent's face. We have the four Puff Shrooms, which is anyway a good aggro card, so a lot of like new experiments in this deck. So this is a decent aggro card because not only does it add free damage that doesn't proc the block meter for zero, it adds an extra damage in a lane. It's also preventing your guys from dying to chump blocks. Um, the weird card in this deck that we're experimenting with, the original deck list actually from James Head 4, is Colonel Bolt. Uh, I'll keep an eye on this to see if this is good, but it's going to be the same thing. You're very typically, anyway, playing a lot of your early game on Heights, so this will add... One damage, this could potentially clear a lane. The other important thing about the Colonel Bolt is that it ends up being a team-up, which is a base for Cobb Cannon. It's also a pretty good card uh, to be a base for your Elderberry. Uh, you can set that up easily on turn four. Of course, we have the combo with Poison Ivy, which does five damage on turn three, really high attack, and that, of course, will then they'll put a minion in front of it, and the anti-hero is lost, then you're able to use that as a base for Elderberry and go face for five damage again. Uh, this is not only, again, 2 cost 3-2, so it's a decent aggro card and also has Strike through in the late game. The Fireweed, of course, can be used to cover their environments. And Berry Blast will either clear a lane or go face for 3 damage in order to finish off your opponents. Let's see how this deck does. Maybe I'll make adjustments. Maybe we, you know, the main card missing from this deck, I would say, is Astrocado, which is a really powerful finisher at the 5 slot. So we'll keep an eye on that if it's good enough. But uh, I think this idea of just really having a lot of... Lane clear instead of all the strike through the end. It could be viable. So we are trying this as an experiment today. Um, so we are going to do, these should be very fast games because we're running an aggro deck. So we will definitely do 10 games with this. If you think this deck will win 7 out of 10, then it's going to be a yes. Uh, 6 out of 10 is going to be a no over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash fry up where we bet all of our fries. See, this is going to happen sometimes where we're just going to get mega brick late games. See if we can find a 1 or a 2. We got it. Um, so again. Ooh, that's a weird play, but we are going to be able to answer that. Looks like it's going to be aggro against aggro. So again, 7 out of 10 is going to be a yes. 6 out of 10 is going to be a no. I am, because the level of play and the amount of sweaty tryhards uh, in ladder, in the in ranked, has really gone up, I'm going to make the bet 7 and 3. Set the expectations a little lower. We are able to go face for three damage here, and unfortunately we're brick with all of our like. I mean, I mean that can happen. If, if it was Astrocot or Elderberry and we got four copies of it, we'd just be equally as brick. The good news is, is that this can win. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so game one is just brick city. He's just running, uh, I don't know, nothing. We still don't have a play though. He smoke bombs that, it's okay. Yeah, I used to go for 8 out of 10, but I, I'm lowering the, the expectations because it's just been a lot. Uh, I think I'm going to just go Gloomstream here. It's pretty good. Let's see if he has Pogo. Nope. <laughs> but I don't know why he played this in lane 1. He usually gets blocked here. It's ridiculous. Let's we'll see if we get Weedwack. See if he has Chop, too. The bad is the predict button. You'll see that. If you're here in the live stream, 
If you're watching this on YouTube, it's too late. Uh, this I think will just play... Is there any one drop that I would actually play this turn? I, I think I'm gonna just spam this together with the glitch. Baby chick, 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 baby <laughs> so annoying. Oh, we actually got a one drop, so very sad. But uh, we'll just do this, and whichever one's on the left, we'll get the gloom. Really nice, though. Lots of really clear lanes. We actually have this other one set up for another gloom shroom, so we're in really, really good shape here. He smoke bomb that? Okay. Uh, but you're taking 10 bullseye to face, bro, so... That, I don't know. But we're not able to do another glimpse. He, he really played around that very nicely. Uh, yeah, it's just very blast. I'm, I'm gonna take this guy out of his misery. There's no even need to BM this guy. I feel bad. Okay, never mind. I'll BM. Strike through! More strike through! And you're dead. Goodbye. So, quick, easy first game. I, he was running aggro into Mad Chemist. Just a... Not a strong opponent. <laughs> Why is the word Jerry banned in my stream? I don't know. It's just this annoying word that Discord guys use a lot. Overuse. Way overuse. It's kind of banned just as a meme, but... Since this is the channel of dead memes, we just keep it going. I haven't unbanned it yet. Here's Captain Alpha. Uh, aggro against you, Giganticus, is always what you want to see. Uh, we'll keep one berry blast. Look for a little more aggro. See, honestly, here, like, getting a poison ivy would have been so good. But anyway. But anyway. Uh, I think we'll play on ground. We have Scorch. We'll save heights for, uh, whatever. It doesn't really matter against this shit. You can freeze the ground. <laughs> the deck's unbeatable. Next time, uh, next stream, I should just do Mini Ninja on one, Mad Chemist on four. Such combos. So Berry Blast is really good here. You could also have, like, you know, Teleportation Station. I think it's just Berry Blast. We actually picked up our Poison Ivy. Um, he's really not... This will be a 4-2 now, which is ridiculous. So we can either play Poison Ivy for 5 damage, or we can play Apple Saucer plus Scorch. Well, I'll probably set it since this is the turn that the the block gets procced. I'll probably... well... I mean, this is the last chance to poison Ivy, but... What is this gonna be? It's probably just teleportation zombie. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this here so it dies to the Scorch. No, wait. Yeah. This is fine. I really want the four damage to go face. The three will proc the block. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. Three will go face. <laughs> so it's gonna be Scorch Poison Ivy here, I guess. Yep. We'll save this lane for Gloom Shroom. So it's a pretty good play, though. We win the trade in lane 3. We're winning the trade here. We're winning the trade everywhere. He could block and get an environment in lane 4. That would be pretty strong. He goes space time. He takes the 5 damage. It goes face with space time. Okay, it's just a proc the block. I guess he really wanted a block anyway. Wow, he's freezing there instead of winning the t I mean winning the trade in lane two. Now he's just surviving that an extra turn. That's a really weird location for that free. I definitely would have put that in four. You gotta get us off the board, bro. Now we have a very sad second poison ivy in our hand, too. Uh I think I'll just go in here. It's pretty good. Rocket. If that was an Astricado, we would at least have the Astricado pit in our hand. Though. So yeah. Wow, he's conjuring, unfortunately. We kind of were riding card advantage for a bit there, but at least his teleportation zombie's gone. See if we proc the block and get a superpower here. 
So we'll just go face in lane four again. There's the puff shroom, a turn too late. Puff shroom, a turn too late. Um, Scorch will actually save this. Our Weed Whack will be really good. Obviously, more Spore doesn't do anything. Um, I don't think I can test this yet with the Fireweed. I mean, it clears this lane. Do I really want to block here? Yeah, I really want to block. Two-thirds of a chance of getting a really good superpower here. My gosh, so we got three cards. They all cost two less now. That's so annoying, because even bad cards, when you reduce their cost by two, they end up good. Thank you, Phantom. Welcome to the front lane. No, and we didn't even block! This guy's just Virginia rolling us. He's hitting us for one damage per turn. It's so annoying. <sighs> what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Should I just do this next turn? We don't really need the extra sun. We need the face damage. So we'll use this to like clear a lane and make one of our poison ivies go face or something like that. It's so annoying. <laughs> Goodbye. We're screwed. He got that from triple location. That's so annoying. The conjures kicking our tushies here. I feel like we kind of need Cobb Cannon to just to win here. So I should probably save this, right? Yeah, triplication best card. Yeah, we still won that trade. Maybe it's not a big deal. Cob Cannon would go a long way here. We we'll probably have to use it to just go face. Apple sauce. Uh, he draws one card, he wins here. <laughs> Hello, nurse. It's just space time taking over a game. And he did draw a card, so... Right, we weren't going to come back from that anyway, especially with the nurse healing him back up to 18 health. Alright. <laughs> So much for card advantage. Keep it going. Like this deck relies on combos a little bit more. Brainstorm's not a good matchup for this, by the way. We have to keep the two pumpkins, but the bungee plumbers are very sad. That. Uh, do we go face here? Some people just play and they try to counter the con man, but I don't know, man. All right, because we're a little bit of a slower deck, we're not going to make the desperation for damage to face, even though. We would like to. We'll win the trade. I don't know. It doesn't. We don't get four damage here. I mean, we won the trade, but we just gain a we gain a four one of tempo on the field, which is easy for him to deal with. Maybe that's not right. And our heights lane uh, for fireweed so sad. Looking for the backup dancers. Missed both of them. That's so sad. 
<laughs> so incredibly sad. Uh, fireweed actually ain't bad now. It clears the lane. It's a three to fast. It's a good value. You can play the elder next turn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Save the weed whack for sure. Bow show. Final mission. Uh, he'll go to the 4-2. So, opponent's down to 8 and then to 5. I could probably just Elderberry here. 3 damage is not so easy for him to do. I think it's good. We need Wrath exactly to kill it this turn. Final mission kills it regardless. There it is. So, proc the block. It's nice we have a little bit of late game here, though. These Cobb Cannons are gonna... Do really well finishing off this game. Let's see if we can actually get a 5 or something like that. 4. Shut up and take my money. I don't think Fireweed is good enough for this deck. Yeah. Better than Wildberry. Uh, we can actually clear this, which is cool. I think I'm gonna go for it. It's five damage. This is about as good of a weed whack as we get. It sets this up for next turn. We have two turns of cob cannons coming up. At least one of them will clear a lane. That's all he's got. All right, we two and one. Colonel pull, Colonel pull for the win. Colonel pull is carrying the deck. Let's go. Can you, I'm gonna ask the chat. The chat has a lot of suggestions there. You know, this is an experiment. Chill and enjoy the stream, guys. I don't, I don't really want a lot of suggestions until we've played at least, you know, five, six games with this deck and, and really see things work. The fact that you have a fireweed doesn't work one game like, chill, you know? Don't panic. It's pretty cool. I think with the Elderberry in hand, we'll keep the Colonel Pulse. Let's see how this works out. Again, Boogaloo, Crazy Heroes, not a great matchup. Um, I could just super here. I mean, this always dies against past turn one Boogaloo. Okay, what if I were to super to face? Then I go three, then what do I even do on four? I could just, I could just pass here. What if he doesn't have an answer? I mean, if he has a lightning pole, I guess he has to use that anyway, right? All right, we'll see if he has a bungee, you know? He had Bungie. Ooh, what do you know? Let's see if he has another one. Uh, we'll definitely use the Fireweed, but Apple Saucer is better later. No, 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 no. Him not having a second Bungie is a pretty big deal here. There's the superpower. Is this like control boogaloo? What is this stat? It's just a sniper who cute control boogaloo against me. I think I'm just gonna aggro with that. Another one gone. Another one fight to dust. So he's setting that up. Problem is he can't really deal. We're doing four damage a turn, and it's really good. Can't really deal with line one anymore. Let's see what he does. Vampire. Um, so I could just trade with the with the vampire. It's a five it's if I set it up here, it's five damage to face. We're gonna do nine this turn, so he'll be down to seven. There's really I mean I could but the other thing I could do is Elderberry here. Oh, that's the play. So this will do six. Oh, this is obviously the play, guys. <laughs> I can't believe I was even considering not doing this. So it's six damage. The opponent said zero. I'm just making sure this is right. We're doing six to him. He'll have six health. So now Elderberry lives. So we're doing less damage this turn, but we have a really, really strong Elderberry set up on heights. Really good play. Love it when, they, again, the opponents spend all their brains on a zombie. It's it's really weak. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. 
I think I'll save the Puff Shroom here. I think I will develop this, though. Chickening just doesn't do enough. The opponent does not have a superpower left. Probably doesn't have a bungee to go with the chickening, so... Could be a deck he runs chickening in, but... He actually has it. Could you not have a second bungee plumber right now, please? Yes, we still get the five. It's good news. Really would like to see a cup cannon here. It's not a cup cannon. Another chickening? Should I play around it? I mean, he didn't have bungee. He'll have, like, a single removal. Uh, it's unlikely I'm having a second chickening, right? Let's go. Second chickening. Bro! Where's Cobb Cannon? We're gonna really need him. Maybe, like, a, a, another Berry Blast will usually win, too. I think we just take it. We gotta use these for reach, probably. Where is Cobb Cannon? We have four in the deck. We need one. This is not what we... Oh, no. We're, we're breaking so hard right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, cop cannon or bust? So, guys. Here's the deal. <laughs> here's the story. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to try to, to push face this turn. Yeah, if that that needed to roll a one. I think we just lose now. Well, we have to block. There's no way to get three damage here. This is why we need the late game, but we're just not getting it now. We blocked. Miracles? Uh doesn't really help. Cob cannon? Miracle? Cob cannon? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, we actually won this game! There's no freaking way! There's no freaking way! I feel so bad for that guy, but we got it, guys! <laughs> oh, man, that's why we need late game. That's exactly the matchup. That's exactly what we did. We have four cobs, four glooms. We didn't even get one, man. We got an elder. I can't believe we won that. Oh, man. What are the bets, by the way? For 78% yes, 22 on no. Na, 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 da, da. Mm -hmm. This one is so sad. You get a proper one. It's not that important against a mortician anyway. Okay. Here's our one. Come on, cheese cutter. I don't know. I think we have to save this. I don't see the turn three and amazing turn three and four play. <laughs> the chat's on a delay, so they're reacting to the wind. <laughs> he totes his here. <laughs> I know. Wow, I'm so happy to see bats come out. That's a really strong card against their deck because they're really able to control a lot with it. Um, so we're just gonna set up, start playing on curve here. I'm not, and this is also gonna give us blocks, which will help us clear lanes eventually. It's pretty good. There's cadet. Control deck, though. Don't want to play against control. Morticia doesn't have really all the utilities to deal with. Like, you know, like right now, even just the Poison Ivy and the Blooming and the and the uh, Blooming Heart are really good. Where is he going to set this up? Right. Uh, maybe we'll get an Elderberry. This is really good. Or are you gonna do the tournament? I don't know, I'm still thinking about it. Um 
I think clearing a lane with berry blast is probably a good idea here. We can also do this. I think this is right. Yeah, this is probably correct. I'm gonna do this. I'll clear the lane with this. Well, I mean, now we can just win the trade. Alright, let's just go face. Is the Colonel Polka there? Would a Poison Ivy have been better? Probably. Wow, past turn four? Okay. It's. I actually would have had the cop if I supered. Eh, you know what? Using super and berry blast to clear lanes right now. It's gonna be fine. There's evaporate. Oh, that's so, so, such a sad evaporate for the opponent. Acid rain would have been so much better. Just weed walk. This will just be my play. The opponent will make. Well, didn't have any tricks last turn, so we should be good to go with spamming all these, all these tricks. We also have some reach, which is cool. <laughs> Yay, great! I can't play a card now. Good, congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Okay, okay. Uh. 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 You just go and face. Cop Cannon set up for lane one next turn. Opponent has one brain to deal with a thousand million damage coming in this turn. Here's two, one, and five. Yes. It's cool. Um, I, I, I guess it just doesn't... We haven't been getting the blooms or the cobs, though. We had the cob there. I could have played it this turn. Why is there a delay? Because of snipers. It's It's gone really out of hand. Fry, do you like sightseeing in Toronto? Um, no. <laughs> I'm not a sightseeing person at all, actually. I like walking. I like going to the like the beach and just walking in there. Let's go. I love beach. Uno, dos, tres. Here's another one. Here are you. Oh, it's a hand. Summoning, let's see if he can get a one attack guy here. Yes! So, summoning coming up short. That's really significant because now we'll have two threats on the field this turn instead of one. Opponent has card disadvantage now. It's, it makes so much of a difference for this to live. Really cool how impactful this little one cost card is. Now, this is interesting. Should I deal with the cheese cutter? I feel like Acid Rain is 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 gonna be the play. It could be Evaporate too. Uh, if I play this, maybe I just super here. Maybe I just go face. Do I let him draw this card? I'm just gonna go face here. Actually, it's an aggro deck. I'm gonna play on curve. We'll be able to super it next turn. Um, okay. That's fine. The only sights to see in Toronto are sadness and Fry's forehead. I I really would like to leave Canada soon. I just have kids here. That's the only reason I'm here. I don't like. Um. So there's a few different things we could double these up. I don't think he's really going to be able to play enough tricks to make this trade worth it. Like, what if I just, like, Colonel Pulse and Super here? I mean, I don't even need to Super anymore. He'll probably be able to remove one thing, though, right? Alright. Oh, he played Summoning. You can't have Acid Rain. You're in. In case the opponent has Nibble, we'll still kill the, uh, the cheese cutter here. Uh, we don't kill it if he has that, though. Oh, I should have just killed that. What am I doing? It's an aggro deck. I have to just super berry blast there, obviously. That was too greedy. Now what do I do? You know what? I just brain farted. I don't know why I didn't think that through. There's cards like Extinction Event. I just didn't think he'd have it, but now I have to use this Berry Blast anyway. And I have nothing to do this turn. I'm so stupid, man. 
You use super and use berry blast, and that's it. And then you have elderberry set up for next turn. Why am I such a dumbass? Um. I'll just dry cob, I guess. Terrible play. <sighs> He's probably running swimmer in this deck. If he swimmers in five, we we get the the wombo combo. Uh, so this will go. It's probably better. Well, doesn't really matter. Just trying to think, where does the Gloom and the Cobb Cannon want to go? Point two. That's a gravestone. I would have had a, a, a whole extra Berry Blast now. I mean, uh, well, I can't Cobb Cannon combo, so I'll save that. Decent play. The evaporate's gone now, so we don't have to worry about that. But there's rockets, there's all kinds of things. Bro! Oh my gosh. The phase for eight bulls, uh, ridiculous. We really need a removal card. The, getting a puff shroom or a kernel pulse will just be insane here. <sighs> Unfortunate. So we have to play this. Even have a chance of surviving here. Yeah? Let's not let a uh, empty lane go face for seven. You know? Looking for cards. Just looking for like a rocket or any kind of buff would win. Otherwise, we win. I mean, he'll have to. He'll tell. Always teleport a minion, so we're not going to win this. Right? Uh, he decides not to win. Decides not to win the game by doing that in lane two. Okay, never mind. It's BM. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> Teleportation zombie, it's a strong answer to the sec. Who knows if I would have used that berry blast how this game would have gone. Elderberry would have been it. On heights protected. He didn't wasn't running alien news. Yeah. Alright, I'm four and two. I uh, hear Super Brain, so it's as good of a matchup as crazy as a bad matchup. Let's look for just as much early as possible. So, okay. Uh, really, no answer to Haunted Pumpkin, no small removal. I don't even know what he does on turn two. Uh, it's tries to chump block this with a 1-5 maybe. In which case gets scorched the next turn. Opponent's in a really rough spot here. Yes, he actually did it. So we're going to Scorch next turn. Um, is it better to set up the bloom here? Oh, I think we'll do this with Scorch. Uh, yeah, I'm getting a little too much late game early, though. So it's just one of the things that happens. Eating this deck. Pretty good. It would have saved one health on the pumpkin if we would have scorched last turn, but the chance of them playing another guy, like against the three two and getting more value from the scorch, I think makes it worth it. I wonder if not playing the the blooming heart there. Wow, he bounces my four one. He's a three cost card to give me my one cost card back in my hand, man. So this will proc the blood. That worked out great. Na, 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 na. 
Da -da 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 -da. I mean, look at this play now. Ridiculous. Feed him a card. Is he like milled? Three. He is nine. It's like they're just mowing the lawn outside all of a sudden. Uh, okay, well now he's milled. <laughs> so we do three, four, three. Well, we're doing ten. Thanks for the cards, too. I kind of hope he just California rolls so he can get milled. Oh. Puff shroom combo looks really good. Heal clears us. That's annoying. Uh, this plays around... Um, like, block chop. You want the 5-3 to be the first lane. I'm gonna actually spam this because we just need one damage. So in case he has an answer, he has chop. We still have two shots at his face here. Yep, looks like it worked. Should be lethal still. Nope, and he blocks, K. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. If we, for somehow, he comes back from 21 right now because of that. Holy moly, this is what he got from the pumpkin. Pumpkin. Ruining us, as usual. Another one gone. Another one back to dust. Um, utilizing this clue trim would be nice. I could just go double phase for lethal here, though. This guy is full of answers. I mean, it's almost impossible for him to deal with these both going face right now. This is a really hard decision. You could get alley news and then have smoke bomb, I guess. Uh, if he is able to get out of this turn alive, then, you know, ha him having two lanes that are clogged and us being n not having any field clear left is going to hurt a lot. We should be okay. Uh, two superpowers. I mean, he'll need to get chop and like a lightning bolt or something like that. He got heal. That heal is not even close to enough. Does he have one more answer? No, he doesn't. He made the right decision. Five and two. <laughs> yeah, that, that gizzard lizard kind of hurt. Fly Gloom over Astrocado. You know, I'm beginning to wonder. I, I, the Astrocado's got to be better, right? With the strike through. Should we switch it up for the last few games? There's no way Gloom is worth it. You don't always have it. I, I think I like the Cobb Cannons, but the, I, the biggest the biggest thing in this deck has got to be... The biggest thing that's missing has got to be the Astro, right? It's sad not to have more Glooms and stuff, but honestly, Astro Kato independently is a better finisher than Gloom. You know what I mean? Even though we, we need the finishers. The Puff Shrooms become a little less good. Um, they were kind of breaking. Let's go for like three Poison Ivies. This is cool. Were the Colonel Pults worth it? <laughs> Uh, 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 da -da -da Where is that song from? Oh, 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 oh. Sounds like some epic music from a movie. I don't even know.
Um, didn't really get the early game, man. These are, I don't know, man. I mean, this is, this is, this is not the first time this has happened this stream. It's too many little cards. We probably have to ditch the kernels too, right? Can we get an early game card? Oh my gosh. So we're just going to try for elderberry spam, I suppose. At least we have an answer to just cheese cutter here. Uh, interesting how we place on heights. You really don't want to play on heights against solar. Because then that happens. So it looks like Colonel Polt's getting it done. Sort of. Little buddies instead of little mushrooms. The extra damage fits better with the aggro. Da, 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 da. Bro! Bro! <laughs> Um, should I go face? Should I go face for five? I think I am. Draw your cards, bro. I don't think we read back. Aggro pop room, guys. That's where it's at. La, la. So I guess we just well point nine being one. It's pretty good. <laughs> wow, did he spam this penis copy pasta like eighty times? What the hell? Uh, uh, last chance. Stop spamming. All right, we're going face. I don't care. I don't care. Watch me use fruit cake now. Do not have it for elder lady. Lightning and heals. Damn. Crazy heroes going crazy. They going crazy. This actually procs the block. I'll probably just cover the puff shrimp. I'll see. I guess it depends what he plays. If we if he sets up a good trade in lane one, I'll just do that to proc the block and go face for five. Bruh. Ow. He's doing a lot. We're just racing right now. <laughs> the problem is block meter. This is the problem. There's the block. Please don't get your other lightning bolt. There's a vap ray. I guess that's okay. We need the damage. So we need to do six more. It's kind of rough. We'll be down to five. He's down to seven. We have strike through them. We're way better. It's probably 2-2-1. Two, two, Pass. Ugh. Okay. I mean... <laughs> This is so greedy. To actually try to elderberry here. I think we play defensively, right? And we'll elderberry next turn. Pretty sure it's like this. Should this go face? Fruitcake kind of wins, so we'll play around Fruitcake. Yeah, I guess Apple Saucer would have been better there. We already have four Apple Saucers. Punish Room Imitator. <laughs> ah, so we alienated. Okay. 
But the, the good news is he's off the board. We got some strike through. Poison Ivy. Uh, curve is really awkward though. Bro, what is that now? What the hell? I mean, I have to play a card in lane one. Maybe it should just be the Elderberry. It's 2-1-3. If we roll really, really well, we could pull it off. I mean, probably just stalling and then Elderberry next turn. Which gets blocked, though. What the hell? That's really tough. I think I'm gonna Elder combo next turn for a lot of damage. So let's just... I kinda hope we proc his block now. Mm. Top deck Berry Blast? Elder. No, it's like the worst card we could have got. It's not playable. This is the worst, literally the worst card we could have got is Elderberry. It's two damage strike through though, so if he doesn't have a removal card, we'll, we'll be okay. Ooh, this is gonna be close. It's gonna be real close. We actually rolled very low last turn instead of rolling high and proccing the block, so I have a pretty decent shot at his face in lane one, but. It, being able to only play one card here is so in incredibly sad. I mean, we have to. We have to have to play that. It's a brainless play. It's the only thing we can do. To stay alive and possibly win. Uh, Alien News will just win in the game. It's so sad we lost that. So, like, if I would have poisoned... No, I did poison Ivy. So if I would have Elderberried last turn, I could have made a double play this turn. Alien News, I think, would have won no matter what, though. I guess if we would have rolled, you know, 1-1-1, one, 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 or 1-1-2, one, one, then we actually would have won last turn. <laughs> Why Elderberry says. I'm very sad that we're playing against all co I mean, is it not? Listen, think of the amount of decks that we've been so good into these crazy heroes that we played lately. It's just weird how when I'm playing aggro, it's just strange. Oh, I have to get rid of these kernel. It doesn't make sense. There's too many little cards, man. Just doesn't make sense. And he has Bungie. No, 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 no. La, la, la. Missed again. These guys trying to control me with backup dancers. Come on, man. This poison Ivy looks really good in two. This is what we shall do. He didn't have a removal card last turn, so I mean the heights lane is for the Colonel Paul. You know what? I'll play this here. Gotta keep going face. Yes. So we have six. Really good. We have this set up in one. There's its alley news that was gonna be necessary to kill this poison ivy. Now he don't have that. Uh, we'll kill one of these. It opens a lane for next turn. Gotta be worth it, right? Okay. That's a lot. Control Boogaloo, not controlling very well. Can we hit this, please? Damn! 
Damn! Our entire board just disappears that turn. Thanks, Block Raider. This is so bad. Why are you garbage? Play next turn, maybe. What if he has what if he has the chickening though? I mean if he has the chickening I lose this game, so screw it. Let's play into it. There, we got both of those. And we got this now. We're going face for two, two, and three. It's not bad. I don't know, man. No, this doesn't make sense. Is this the guy with the chickenings that we played before, the Boogaloo? There's no way that the, the I mean, we're, this deck's doing well, but I'm a little pissed off because there's no way the 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 game we see chickening once every two months. Once every two months we see chickening, and all of a sudden the game where I'm playing Agro Solar Flare, well, that was the third chickening today, right? I'm a little pissed off right now. Why is Ricky Gervais on YouTube on my screen right now? That's some BS, guys. Super mega BS. Oh my gosh. Is this the same guy? Have we played this guy already with the boogaloo with all the chickenings? Oh, it's a different one. I don't even know if that was big blue. Well, he passed again, so I guess we pass. He's milled. No, that'll make it nine. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I really hope he doesn't clear my board this turn. Shut up and take my money. Winning that man part two. Hey. Did I not let him proc my block? I don't really need the superpower. So I think I'm just not gonna let him. Three nut electric blueberry. Pass. We're bricked with these cards, man. I think he has guard face. Of course he does. Stop being so salty, they aren't sniping, they just have a better gaming chair, it's a skill issue. We'll very blast it next turn, I guess. Oh. BS? I'm allergic to BS. Thank you, Dasher Man, for 50 ones. There's the chicken egg. Monster match for that. Mm 
Anyway. So we're five and four. Guess the answer is no. Can actually do this. Interesting. If he has bats or something before you play our pumpkin, right? It's pretty good. We'll play the pumpkin whenever, it doesn't matter what. There's the bats. Why is he... Why is he playing bats there instead of lane one, though? That's why. <laughs> it's so sad. He was going for bats leap, guys. Okay, instead of blocking my aggression, he just decides to play a one drop that will turn into a two drop. Nice. Swimmer is a zero five. Nice. <laughs> so sad. La la la. Um, this is a tough play. I guess this will leap anyway. This lane will be clear. I mean, do we really want this to go face? We probably do. The berry blast to face should win now. We need a leap! We need a leap! Working on airplanes is hard. Thanks for streaming to help me get through the last part of my day. Uh, thank you, Omni Sharks. Cool. You work. You're like a mechanic or a flight attendant. Working on airplanes. You rolled double threes. That's so sad. Um. Like that. That will proc the block then very blast next turn. Uh should have him this turn though. I have three shots at his face. Didn't take three. All right, six and four ain't bad. Not bad. You know what? I'm, I'm putting that on YouTube. It's a little frustrating. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna. I don't know. I, I don't. It's again. It's a little gaslighting because I don't know if it's snipers or it's not. We we faced a lot of really tough matchups today, but for the most part, the deck dominated. So I'm gonna say that will go on YouTube. And again, I'm considering a seven and three to be an exceptional success. And that's what the bets are. But um, even just like, 
uh, six and four. I mean, we're playing, you know, we're playing in Ultimate League, so that means he can hit Ultimate League with this deck. I'm gonna say that is gonna go on YouTube. A lot of stuff. I don't know, man. That would be so many crazy heroes. I don't know. All right, guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace. This is Fry.